Hello and welcome to CMC Markets on the 23rd of December and this year's annual Christmas video. Now the format of this is going to be fairly similar to the one that we did last year when I heard my colleague Matt Bassey and we chatted about the outlook for 2015 and he was actually quite accurate in his estimates that um, stock markets would actually rise by 10 to 12 percent this year but he was only right in so far as it applied to the S&P. Now joining me today is his colleague Jamie Cole and we'll be talking about the outlook for 2015, um, whether or not we can expect further gains to stock markets and look at some of the underperformance in the oil and gas sector and the mining sector. After we've done that, we'll make it very short and sweet, we'll also have a look at some of the more embarrassing moments that we've had in filming <coughs> these videos um, this year, some outtakes for your um, delectation and then we'll wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll try and resist the temptation to put my Santa baby hat on um, and, embarrass, and, and embarrass myself. Unfortunately I couldn't persuade Jamie here to put a, a set of reindeer antlers on, no, apparently no. it's just... I think my wife's dignity wouldn't, wouldn't allow it. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, we'll crack on. So as I said earlier, the best performing uh, stock market this year um, has been the S&P 500, up over 10%. That's been closely followed by the Nikkei, not surprising given the fact that we've seen large-scale quantitative easing program by the Bank of Japan. Now the DAX, after making record highs, has started to taper off a little bit, and that's not really surprising, is it, yeah. Jamie, given the fact that um, we've seen some fairly weak growth out of the euro area and the ECB remains very reluctant to um, really embark on a full scale easing program. What I'm going to focus on is the underperformance of the FTSE 100. That has underperformed and I think we pretty much know why, don't we? I think it's, it's, it's the common the common discussion, and, you know, certain sectors which are the heaviest weighted sectors, i.e. the miners um, and the oil stocks have, have underperformed. And that's, you know, that's nothing new to us, I don't think, Michael. No. I think we've seen that continuously, you know, last year when we had the, you know, the, the times, of, as Matt highlighted last year in his, in his piece, you know, the, the DAX was, you know, hitting record highs, the, the US and so on. And, and the, the FTSE was, you know, almost the, the pantomime horse, if you like, bringing, mm. up, the, bringing up the back. Indeed, indeed. Now, we're looking at a chart now of um, commodity prices. Yep. And we can see straight away that Brent crude has basically dropped nearly 50% from its highs over the last few months. Now the big question I think as we head into 2015 is first and foremost, can we expect further gains in the S&P? Um, we're approaching 2100. I think the biggest question, I think given how badly affected mining stocks have been and oil stocks have been because of this commodity price decline, are there pockets of value there? I think so. I think as I was saying to you before we went on camera, you know, I think a few of our clients who trade these stocks historically, they're asking, are we going to see a consolidation in the sector? Is there value at these levels? I think looking where we are, we're seeing with the commodity market at the moment, you know, it, it could be a brave man who tries to pick the bottom on these, as, as we're seeing, you know, with, with OPEC stance and so on mm. at the moment. But I think, you know, the, the people who do, you know, do get it right will, will be in a very strong position going into the, you know, the first quarter of next year and maybe further out. So I think the, the stocks that we've particularly been looking at, and I hesitate to name you know, individual stocks, but certainly I think the underperformers have been companies like BHP, yep. Rio Tinto, BP and Royal Dutch Shell, so they might well be worth keeping an eye on. No, definitely. They're, stuff, they're the stuff which, are, if anything, are going to firm this market up and, and, and worth watching, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much um, the look ahead to 2015. Short and sweet, I know. But uh, without further ado, let's move on to some of the more embarrassing outtakes and um, both Jamie and I feature quite prominently. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> oh, hello, my name is Jamie Cole. I'm the handsome looking guy who's going to be in this month's Active Trader magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to CMC. We're just limbering up. The home We're of limbering up. The home of love. <laughs> I always find, Ella, that when you're sort of getting ready to shoot, it helps to take the lens cap off. I know. Welcome to my, yeah. Okay. When my question comes, straight, straight away. You're ready to do that. Boom. <laughs> Give me sunshine in your smile. Give me laughter all the while. That's a lovely red dress. Where did you find it? <laughs> now our lifestyle section. 
eat your carrots. Down the gym today and forgot my trainers and had to do a gym workout in my flip flops. Oh. Healthy is about a healthy body and a healthy mind. I used to play cricket, I was in the school team. What? A long time ago. Long time ago. Okay, to sum up. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. That's our little thing. Yeah. And take five. <laughs> now let's zoom in on, on this price. Hold on. Zoom in on the investment levels from the highs in May, just the well, uh, highs in there. Let's start that again. <laughs> highs in there. Me. <laughs> I'm a nightmare. Highs in there. Okay, I've got a new one for you. Okay. Now let's zoom in, in on this price action here. We win. Uh, nah. <laughs> I just, got, I just got put off by my stupid expression. How hard is it to say the 1st of July and the beginning of a new quarter? Right, okay, quarter. What can I say, you know, I'm lost without you, Ella. Clean your mind out, young lady. <coughs> Lua, handy hint at the end of today's currency snapshot. Um, yeah, until next week, and that was a complete well, wasn't it? So I'm going to have to do that all over again. Well, that's it for this week. Oh, let's start again. Yay! 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 That right there is 55 years of Mark's experience. Yeah. I'll write that. <laughs> Take two. Take two. Well, that's it for this year. Thank you for that. That's it for this year, ladies and gentlemen. We hope that you enjoyed some of those outtakes and all that's left for me to do is to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Dallas, put the antlers on. I'm putting my hat on. Brilliant. Hey. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.